We'll move that out of the way. So this is a product anyone who's familiar with the actual HH and the HQ series of Habrox will be very familiar with this design format. Overall, aesthetically, all the same. The nice button layout, as most people are used to with this device, you get dual OLED eye displays at the rear. These are adjustable for eye position. Uh, both have diopter adjustments on the back. At the front, you have your thermal channel on the right, like you do with the other more premium thermal sensor models. And you have your optical um, lens on the left, thermal lens on the right, should I say. So these have got the flip caps come off and underside they could be removed if not required it's got the same ir spot the flood as the hq and hh models which is great you can change the power and intensity on that and on the underside there you also have there um your lrf so you've got an lrf an ir that's spot the flood a thermal channel an optical channel that's 4k resolution we'll go into that in a minute all for around the £1,300 price mark. <sighs> mind blown. Mind blown for that format and style. So within here, we'll have a look. You do have a case for the unit itself. You get an instruction manual. You get a quad battery charger there at the base, which allows you to charge the supplied four 18650 batteries that come with the HIC design unit itself. So with the unit there, two are used in the unit and you have two spare you get a usb a usb c cable there just to power the device charge it download if you need to you do have the hicksite app and that can also plug into your um your charger dock you also get a tripod mount that screws into the base and allows you to attach the binoculars to a tripod if you're using it in a stationary position for viewing like i say this device is going to have a big appeal for the likes of bird watchers and wildlife viewers, as well as the hunting side of things. So let's take a look at the overall specification and design of the unit. So right hand side, this is where the lower end of the unit um, and the price point comes into play. It has a 256 by 192 resolution thermal sensor. So this is a, a low resolution sensor. It's not the top end, but it allows you to spot heat, pick up them animals, and view with the 4K channel. That is a massive plus to allow you to locate what you're looking for, and then you can zoom in in higher detail and swap over to the optical channel on the 4K. The 4K sensor is a 3840 by 2160 sensor. It combines with a 60mm focal length lens, which has got an f2.2 aperture. Now, anyone who's looked at the Hick Micro products from the Griffin, which started off on the optical side of things, right through to the um, the Alpexes and the Alpex 4K now, and we have the Habrock models, the HH and the HQ, they don't have the 4K sensor, only this HE one does at the minute, but the Alpex 4K does. This has got a longer focal length than the Alpex 4K, so it gives you more optical magnification to start with. Downside being, even though it's got a higher focal length, longer focal length, should I say, the aperture is slightly slower. So it's not as big a lens. It's not going to let as much light in. And you're going to have a narrower field of view when you're viewing through the device. Not a big deal for me because that sensor is very good in low light. Even for a 4K, it's really good compared to every 4K I've ever used. Um, and plus with that sensor and software combination, you're overcoming some of the shortfalls of a slightly slower sensor. I would personally rather have the longer focal length and get more detail in light or longer legs to view a longer distance without losing quality in this model than a wider field of view, for instance, in some of the rifle scope models and some of the uh, other binocular models. I prefer a slightly longer focal length it's going to optimize the image quality at longer range which this is this is what this unit is designed for so that's your two channels you've got in the thermal channel it's a 25 millimeter f1 lens so it's still a fast aperture lens that combines with a 256 resolution thermal sensor the lrf that we mentioned earlier is a 1000 meter lrf the ir 
is a A50 NM, so it's more visible spectrum, but it's got more throw on it. It's going to give you more range when you're using it at night because this 4K optical sensor has night vision built into the device. So not only do you get great colour, day and low light image quality, you get excellent night vision quality from that 4K sensor. You get your IR that's going to flood, give you your IR for eye shine, longer viewing of animals at night. And then you've got the thermal channel that's going to help you pick up and locate, get on target, and then swap over if you want to with the, the optical side of things. Uh, what else? 795 gram weight this is. Overall, without any batteries. So that's taking the batteries out. Nice compact unit, like we've already mentioned. Both batteries are underside here. So they just pop out. There you go, at the side. And you just locate them back in. And they'll just lock in either side and once the lock you push it along until both indicators show the red marker to say that they're locked in so two of them now you mentioned you get two spare as well on the side you get usb-c connector you can download data from the device direct to your computer if you want you do have a charging indicator on there to show you it's charging so you can charge the batteries within the unit or the supplied quad uh, dock that's within there so software wise, internally, this records video, it records audio. You can play back your viewed recordings through the device itself. You don't have to download them to your smart device initially. You can just view them through the device if you don't have that hand. Um, you can isolate certain thermal channels if you only want to use the white hot or the black hot. Or you didn't want to use an optical channel, you could just make it so it's thermal or just optical. Like you say, you can just choose, select to your own needs. You can activate your rangefinder on this side. A double tap of that will remove the rangefinder marker from the screen. A single press will reactivate it and another press will put it in the scan mode, which you can change your scan frequency settings within the menu if you require to. You can take an image capture or record video with this device here, this button here. This side, top right, will change your image modes and your optical channel to cycle through them. The M button here will activate the menu, where you go into a quick menu, drop down and you go into a more advanced menu at the base of that, and that will access a lot more different functions within the device. This unit also has GPS, so if you want to know your GPS location, if you're out on the hill, you can use this to uh, trans... well, just basically... Write that down, note it down from within the settings itself. It's also got a compass. So it's got all them different features. Not that I would probably use them myself because most people have got smart devices with all that in now, but it's handy that they are in there, the device itself. Like I say, dual OLED display it is adjustable for your own eye position and you can adjust your diopters on each individual display at the bit, on the back of the device itself. So that overall is the HE25L. Coming in, as we are told, at around the £1,300 price mark. Mind blown by every single feature you're going to get in this device. And for that same format, it does reduce eye fatigue having a dual eye display. If you're going to use this for a long period of time, the dual eye display, it just, you get people get headaches and aching if they're looking through a single eye display for a long period of time. This helps a lot. So, yeah. HE25L. We are going to have these listed on the website, Blackwood Outdoors, as soon as they're available. I don't think they're that far away, and I'm going to try and get you some footage with this device in the field, especially the 4K, because when I've had a quick look at the device, I haven't tested it properly in the field yet. I will do, and I'm going to add some footage. Initially, I can see straight away the 4K channel's got so much more sharpness. That longer... Even though it's slightly slower, focal length lens of 60mm helps a lot, massively. And I prefer the colour image on this device from all the other Hick Micro products I've used, personally. Uh, it looks great. It doesn't look as pixelated. It looks to retain quality better at longer distance. Like I say, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what's like on the night vision side of things as well. So that is the HE25L, available soon. Some additional footage will be coming soon. I might add it to this video to the side here. So, or just after this video, so you can have a look at the, the different channels and video quality on it. But overall, that is the new Hick Micro Habrock 4K HE25L coming soon, available on the website. Keep your eyes open.